hey guys welcome to another youtube video so today we're going to cover why a cold email really isn't working out for you so there are a lot of reasons that people feel that cold email isn't working out for you and they feel that cold email is just not that good of a tool to reach out to people uh, but what they don't understand is it's no different than facebook ads when you're launching a facebook ad you don't just launch one ad and let it run for a while and if it's not working you don't say facebook ads are not working it's all about testing and with cold email it's the same thing so i've prepared a little document on what all you can test with your cold email and what all you can do to make sure that cold email works for you so let's hop on to the computer now so as you can see uh, we've got this document right here for you guys and like i mentioned before there are certain things you can make sure that your cold email has so that it's a perfect mix of everything so there are five key main points that i test out with all my cold email and with all my clients that I run cold emails for. And these are the things that you need to note down and make changes for, and you should see a pretty good result and a pretty big change in your cold email outreach and in the numbers that you're seeing with it. So the number one thing I would change is the subject line. Uh, since it's the first thing a prospect sees, you really need to get them to click and open the email. Otherwise, nothing else matters. If your subject line isn't intriguing enough or isn't interesting enough, people are not going to click on it and you're just not going to get them to read the full uh, full email. And what you can do uh, to see if your cold email subject line is working or not is that you can see if you have a high open rate or a low open rate. So I would go for a benchmark of 60% to 80% minimum open rate. If you're getting less than 60%, I would say you need to make a change in your subject line. Uh, I have a full video on subject lines that I've linked down below in the description that you can have a look uh, wherein I share examples of what all you can do for your subject lines that you can just copy and paste into your campaign. The second is your email copy length. So email copy can be two ways. It can either be a long form content or a short form one. So it can be anywhere from six to eight lines towards 15 to 18 lines. Uh, I would test this out industry based. So if, for example, you're doing it for an e-commerce business, they may like something wordy where they can see your actual copywriting skills versus if you're running, if you're running cold email campaign for say roofers, they don't care about your spoken language. All they don't care about is how you can get their leads and how they can book an appointment with you. So you need to make sure that you're uh, targeting the right industry with the right uh, length that you're going for. And then we, of course, have personalization. Uh, we you need to make sure that you're personalizing your for email that may be in the form of a first line or an icebreaker wherein you're talking to directly to the prospect about their business or, or about something that you know about them it can either be a source so for example you can say i found you on starter story i found you on kickstarter etc so they have somewhere to attach to you can even find interviews about them you can even find blog posts about them and mention that in the email so they know that you did your due diligence before reaching out to them and it's not just a email blast that you're doing to a thousand email owners even though that's me what you'll be doing then you have uh, the niche in the industry now it's very very essential that you don't fall in love with a niche or industry and work it until you fail in it i would say subtest niches so for example if you're in the e-commerce niche to test skincare health supplements, organic cosmetics, apparel, women's clothing, streetwear, etc. Go into specific niches and see what works for you and what works for your cold email and uh, make your decision based on that. Uh, then you have source of leads. Please test different sources for your leads. Test starter story, test Kickstarter, test store leads, test manual scrapping, uh, test Facebook ads, test uh, Instagram uh, suggested method. Uh, I have a YouTube video on that as well that I'll link down below in case you're looking for. You can even take, take buy leads and lines from us and test us out as a, a service to see if you see a much better open rate with your cold emails or not. And these are the mainly five things that we usually test when we are sending out cold emails. Uh, one of the things that I didn't write over here uh, that is also very important is the offer. So what call to action do you have on your cold email? So is it that you have a loom in place? Is it that you have a, a direct meeting? Is it that you're offering something for free? Is it you're offering free social media posts? Or what are you giving them in return for their time? So I usually don't go directly for a meeting because that's something that mostly doesn't happen with so many people reaching out via cold email. It's better to have a value-driven offer. So maybe offer them a free audit, maybe offer them a free Facebook ad. 
build, maybe offer them free social media posts, maybe offer them help with their pixel, the Clavio, or just write them an email sequence if you're doing email marketing for free for say abandoned cards that basically you can create a template for and just send out to people. And uh, this way you'll get more eyeballs on you and because you'll be providing value and if it works for them, of course they'll come back to you because if you're making them money even before they've signed up with you and giving them value before that, they'll probably come back to you itself uh, to get more people in and to get the, your service offer basically. So the benchmarks that I would aim for when you're testing out these is an open rate of about 60 to 80 percent uh, and response rate of 10 to 30 percent and a book rating meet of uh, 1% to 5%. So for example, if you're sending out 100 emails, I would honestly say you should see about 60 emails opened. Uh, out of those 60, you should see about six responses. And out of those six responses, you should see about one to two meetings. That is something that I would, I would call something that would be a successful campaign somewhat so that you can put it to scale and actually test it out more. And in, in obviously the metrics that matter most at the end of the day are book meetings for getting 100% open rate and not getting book meetings. Of course, there's something wrong with the offer or something wrong with your copy. So you need to work on that. And I would just test out with 50 to 75 uh, emails per test. Uh, if you're doing it on a smaller scale, if you have the budget to put it into a larger one, I would go for 150 to 200. And yeah, I think you do all of this and you should see a stark difference in your cold email campaign and how everything is working out for you. So I'll have the two videos uh, down below and I'll also have this document down below that you can have a look at. And yeah, let me know if you're facing any other issues or if you need any other help with cold email. And do subscribe to the channel and leave a like for more such videos. And we'll be posting a lot more about cold email and also covering other B2B strategies that you can use to, to close more clients for your email. So, yep, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.